a thread by Brian the Great. If you were smart and listening to what the smart people were saying, you already knew that this is where everything was headed. One, November 27th, Rosalind Helderman tweets, the Trump campaign attempted to use the recount to disqualify tens of thousands of ballots, motions that were rejected by election officials. But the campaign could now sue over their challenges and try to convince a court. And two, Emerald Robinson tweets, November 27th, breaking, Republican legislators in Pennsylvania have introduced a resolution to dispute the state's election results. Republicans control the legislatures in Pennsylvania, Michigan, Wisconsin, Georgia, and Arizona. Starting four years ago, very quietly, Trump began making sure that by the time 2020 got here, the GOP was in firm control of as many battleground state legislatures as possible. We're just now having this pointed out to us after the election. I guarantee you Trump and his team wargamed this out years ago. November 28th, Robert Barnes tweeted, federal law provides a remedy where an election contest shows outcome of the election in doubt. Whenever a state, quote, failed to make a choice on the day prescribed by law, the electors may be appointed on a subsequent day in such manner as the legislature of such state may direct. End quote. Okay, guys, let's war game this out in 2017. What if we win the key battleground states in the 2020 presidential election, but the Democrat machines in control of the big cities in those states step up their cheating and steal the election and claim Biden won? And during these Trump team war gaming sessions back in 2017, they read the Constitution and saw that the state legislatures were the key that unlocks the path to victory for Trump, even if the Democratic machines in the big cities of the battleground states try to steal the election. Understand what this means? Trump's team has been working the room in the battleground state legislatures for years at this point. The pandemic and mass vote by mail were wild cards, but Trump was already working on the GOP legislatures by then. Democrats only just now, now awakening to the danger and coming to the awful realization of what it fully meant for Trump to get Amy Coney Barrett on that Supreme Court with nary any fuss or muss back in October. They can't stop it. When these GOP state legislatures follow the Constitution in the face of the Democrats' massive fraud and pick their own slate of electors, the Democrats will furiously sue to try to prevent them from doing this. But the Supreme Court will uphold the Constitution. These are never Trumper battle sta battleground state legislatures, I hear people already stating in the comments. Or how do we know the Chinese didn't already get to these state legislatures the way they got to Governor Kemp in Georgia? Listen carefully. Trump has agency. Start asking the right questions. You should be asking. Any chance these battleground state legislatures were gotten to by Trump to counter the Dems or the Chinese having gotten to the Georgia governor? A whole lot of people make a whole lot of bank off of the conservative segment of our society by constantly pushing narratives where President Donald J. Trump is some kind of clueless guy, oblivious to the dangers he faces and constantly stepping on rakes and smacking himself. Everybody worries about, spins narratives about Democrat spies, traitors, moles, etc., or Chinese agents buying off state-level politicians. Yeah, too bad Trump never spotted this threat, hey? Oh, well. Gonna go watch some football now.